Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video we have a brand new update for Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. Now earlier today guys we had the playtimeco.org site which is the ARG site we've been following in the previous videos sort of update and then when I logged into it we had this new graphic appear which says terminal lockout and then you can see it says security EE prom invalid which is just a code this machine is invalid or missing security credentials please contact your administrator to re-image your machine it has this weird code at the top and it says exception access violation now somebody very clever on discord who wasn't me figured out that this led to a secret unlisted video on the mob games youtube channel and so um we're going to be going over to that now guys we're going to be watching the video in question so sit back relax and let's check out this brand new video for poppy playtime chapter three so the video is called Catnap Recall, guys. Let's watch this and let's see what it's all about. What's the time? Playtime! Hey, it's playtime. All right, let's do it. So we've got the cartoon that we've seen before by the look of it. We have already seen this. But the video is like two minutes long, so it can't just be this. Otherwise, uh... I don't know, maybe they've added more to it or something. We'll watch this again though, we did watch this in a previous video. This is of course the Smiling Critters uh, cartoon. This animation is well done. Okay guys, I promise. All winds blow away. Eventually. This is a creepy bit isn't it? Catnap appears at the door. They didn't seem to mind though, they're like, yay! <laughs> That's super catnap! creepy. Please help us go to sleep, catnap! We need it, catnap! Please help us sleep, sleep, sleep! And the sleeping gas comes out. <laughs> and all hell breaks loose. Okay. It's pretty disturbing. Everyone knows Huggy Wuggy oh, this and is Bobby new. Playtime, but are your children safe from Playtime Co.'s latest toy? What you've seen here is Playtime Co.'s own Smiling Critters, a limited series cartoon meant to celebrate the release of the toys sharing its name. Yet both now face the fire sparked by the inclusion of one key member. This is Catnap. And like the others of his line, you just... Pull his little tail and seems innocent enough. However, parents across the country report their children experiencing strange and often violent nightmares. And beside them, their little grinning catnap doll. Hmm. Now with controversy Ooh, growing, factory. Playtime Co. has announced the recall of all catnap toys from the Smiling Critters line. His image cleared from all promotional material. But damage already done, will disappearing be that easy? The exact cause of these incidents still unknown, only one thing appears glaringly certain. Your children are not safe with catnap. Ooh. And there we go, guys. And that's the end. Okay. That was interesting. So what we can tell from that video is that Catnap, much like the other Smiling Critters, was a line of toys used to help children sleep. They were all different scents. You pulled their tails and um, essentially a scent came from their mouth. You uh, used the zipper on the front of them to put the scent inside. And it was meant to just be, you know, like a nice smell to help the child sleep. And all of them had a different scent. We covered this in a previous video, guys. I'll link that at the end of this one if you want to check out what all the different scents were and the different characteristics of these different toys. But the uh, catnap toy seems to have been recalled because the sleeping gas that it was using was actually giving children vivid and violent nightmares. Now, we have actually heard a report about this from one of the Playtime employees about a child named Marie Payne, who was the child that ended up inside Mommy Longlegs, who was being given this sleeping gas and getting these horrible nightmares. And the employee was threatening to basically remove the child from the, uh, the scientist's care if, you know, this continued to happen, if these nightmares continued to happen. I'm not sure if she was aware they were using the sleeping gas or not, but either way, she um, seems like she was sort of getting a bit annoyed by, like, the child experiencing all of this stuff. Now, I don't know how the actual sleeping gas went out into 
you know, mainstream production with these toys. I always thought that would be something just happening within Playtime Co. within the factory and that it wouldn't go into mainstream production. It's weird that they actually put this sleeping gas out into the world and actually let parents use it on their children in this um, catnap toy. But it does seem like also the sleeping gas was exclusive to the catnap toy. The other smiling critters didn't get reports of giving children nightmares with their scents. So it is something that is very specific to catnap. Now that leads me to believe that maybe this was an error that they put this um, sleeping gas out with catnap and it was a mistake or maybe it was intentional, maybe some kind of sabotage within the company. I don't know, but something was happening uh, and I don't think this was meant to go out into mass production. Now, of course, at the end of the trailer, they say basically that catnap was recalled. We heard that news reporter saying that they were trying to remove catnap completely from their uh, advertising. We saw that image change where catnap dis disappeared from all the adverts. So it seems like they were definitely trying to cover their tracks with this one. I also think this is a heads up that catnap is definitely not going to be friendly in the game, obviously, and maybe even harmed the children in the end. Maybe something went wrong where catnap actually turned on the children and ended up harming them. It's hard to say exactly, but um, definitely seems like they're foreshadowing Catnap as a very dangerous creature that we're going to encounter in Chapter 3. Now, there's not too much more we can take from this short teaser, of course, guys, but um, that's my first read on it. It's basically saying that the sleeping gas used in private, you know, within the sort of research area beneath the Playtime Co. factory ended up somehow going into production with a Catnap toy and then being sort of distributed to the general public and there was this massive backlash when all these children started having these vivid nightmares. So um, I don't know how that happened. Maybe we'll find out in chapter three. Was it self-sabotage by a Playtime employee from inside? Was it just a simple mistake that was made um, on the production line somewhere? Who knows, but it's definitely interesting times. Also interesting that we haven't yet had a release date for chapter three. I would expect to see the release date soon, and I would expect to see a gameplay trailer soon if they're still planning to release in December. I do hope it comes out before Christmas, but at the same time, I don't want the team to rush because making a game is very hard. We'll have to wait and see, but I'm very excited to play Chapter 3, guys, and hopefully you'll all experience it with me on the channel when it's ready to release. Let's just support the developers for now. We've got a new teaser today, which is awesome, and I think you'll agree that that teaser was very eerie and very creepy. But yeah, with all of that said, guys, I think I've kind of come to the end of my thoughts for this teaser. If you did enjoy this video today, of course, remember to give it a like. If you want to see some of my other videos I've made on Catnap and these smiling critters, I'll link a few of those at the end of this one. And with that said, thanks for watching today. Remember to like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you all on the next video.